Hey guys, it's Miss Dia, also known as Tiara, and in this video, we are doing a how to install Minecraft mods for version 1.7.10 video, and I chose 1.7.10 because that is my favorite Minecraft version, I find that it has the best, um, wide variety of mods, I guess you could say, and that is also the Minecraft version that I'll be doing my new Let's Play in. There's no set date for the Let's Play, it'll come whenever I feel like making it, um, I don't know if I'm going to wait until around like November, December when I get my new mic for Christmas. Could be earlier than that because I do have a good mic right now. I'm just, you know, debating whether or not. So that'll be coming soon. Don't worry. Stay up to me on Twitter at Mistia Games to find out what videos are going up when and to get sneak peeks of stuff. But anyways, the first thing you want to do is go into Minecraft, open the launcher, and run a clean swipe. A clean swipe. A clean clean save of 1.7.10 and if you've already run 1.7.10 before you really don't need to run it again but I just like running it once to make it clean so what you do that come on okay and then you would quit you don't need to do anything and then you go into Chrome and go to this link right here all links will be in the description below and go to uh, you're under 1.7.10 because the link will be sending you to the 1.7.10 download page. And click Installer Win. Or just Installer. For some reason, it doesn't want to work for me right now. It's very aggravating. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's the website, not my computer, because everything else works perfectly fine. Anyways, hopefully y'all can't hear this noise that's going on on my desktop right now from this like weird ad website. But just hit skip and it'll download. Yes, you want to keep it. It says that it's like malicious, but it's really not. It's just because it's a jar file and your computer doesn't usually deal with jar files. So then you would just click on it and this will come up. I'll go onto my desktop so you can see it better. And it says, welcome to the Simple Forge install, blah, blah, blah. You want to install the client, just hit OK and it will install. Success successfully installed client, blah, blah, blah. So then you want to go back to Minecraft and go down here and run the version they downloaded so I downloaded 1.1614 and then save profile and then load that and then when it loads your minecraft will come up and I might already have some mods that are running on this right now but that don't matter I'll just do this as an example because I don't feel like taking the mods out of my folder. You won't have all this going on. This is just because I have like 21 mods running right now. But um, when I install the mod with you guys, the tutorial on how to actually install the mod and not just Forge, I will do that. So run it with Forge, quit again, and then go to any place you can get mods. There's two places that you can get mods. The first method I'm going to show you is this version it's curse and i'm just going to download journey map so since it's 1.7.10 go to other downloads and then choose the newest 1.7.10 version which would be this one and then this is like not like ad fly it'll just download right off of curse's website yes you want to keep and it is a jar file but unlike the jar file of forge you actually have to go to percent app data percent just type it in your search bar dot minecraft and then mods and i'm just gonna like take all these mods out because i'm not running anything with them right now okay and then go to your downloads sorry i have a lot of downloads i downloaded a lot of stuff today okay journey map so you want to copy and paste or cut and paste whatever into your mind your app data roaming dot minecraft mods folder and it'll have this little thing going on just showing you that that mod is in there so then open up your minecraft again um make sure it's running the same version of forge hit play and something might go wrong because it's a lot of trial and error with minecraft mods you might be missing a certain mod that needs to add on to something journey map i don't think it needs anything added on to so it'll just load up like this like y'all are seeing right now and um it'll say six mods installed that is only because sometimes journey map installs like core mods or not just journey map certain mods will install 
install core mods to help the mod that you downloaded run. Don't worry about that. Like, I had three mods at the beginning, now I have six, and I only downloaded one mod. It's just that core mods are added. It's not going to affect your game at all. Um, so just hit quit. That is one way to install mods, and you can add as many as you want. Well, as many as you think your computer can handle. Only add one or two at a time, so that way if one is crashing your game, you'll know which one it is. Or if you can only have a certain amount, you'll know how many you can have instead of adding, like, 20. And you're like, well, damn, how many can I have? I just put 20 in. Obviously, that can't be handled, but what if I can have, like, 19, and it's just the 20th mod that doesn't work? So add, like, one or two at a time. Max three. Don't add any more than three mods at a time. That is the first way to download a mod. Second way to download a mod is via an installer, and I only get my installers, uh, installers from skydaz.com. And I'm just going to pick a random mod under the 1.7.10 installer page. Like, for example, I'll download the Lord of the Rings mod. Scroll down, download here, dot exe. Wait for that to load. And click on it down here, and this will come up. Let me go on my desktop, and it'll say Lord of the Rings mod installer, and it'll say install the version Forge default. Don't touch this. Just install to the Forge default. If you don't have Forge and you decide to only install installers, which you can do, it'll install Forge for you, but I suggest downloading Forge by yourself first, just so it's not relying on one mod and that installer. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I would just say install Forge first before you do use any installers. So then you would just hit install mod. No, you can back it up. It'll take forever because you have to back up like your whole Minecraft folder. But I just hit no. This will come up. I shouldn't have picked such, such a heavy mod, like to be honest. Because it might take a little while. But my i7 processor got me, if you know what I mean. So, okay, Lord of the Rings mod is installed. So X out. And then... If you notice that when you go back to app data percent, dot Minecraft mods, Lord of the Rings mod is in there. Okay. Minecraft. Let's go. Load up Minecraft. Run the same Forge version. Like I said, it's a lot of in and out of your game when you just start installing mods. So it'll load up Lord of the Rings mod and the Journey Map mod. And here, this is a perfect example. I need a higher version of Forge than I have. So this is just an issue that happens with my computer because um, I could have ran the wrong version of Forge. Like, yeah, I was running the wrong version. I have two versions of Forge installed, which I shouldn't. I should probably fix that. But you should only have one version of 1.7.10 installed, and it will be the highest version based on the links that I give you, so you shouldn't have this problem. So just ignore what just happened. But it was just a really good example to keep in the video of how things can be a lot of trial and error. So it's loading, everything's loading up, and it could take a little while depending on how many mods you have. My i7 processor got me. Okay, we're good. And this is just weird. I don't know. That's like sometimes the um, main menu changes. And then you'll notice you have seven mods installed. And you can scroll through. You find that you have the Lord of the Rings and the Journey Map mod installed. And basically your game should run smoothly from there on. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, all the links will be in the description. Um, um, I hope I helped you. Check me out on Twitter at Mistia Games. Stay updated with all things channel related. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.